I remember a girl broke up with me once and she said, one day you're gonna realize how little you know right now. And I still don't know what she means. Is it me? It might be me. Hi, this is Judd Apatow and this is Watch With Me. A lot of movies are very high concept. I like movies that are very low concept. Seth Rogen and Katherine Heigl trying to deal with the fact that they're gonna have a baby is, is enough. This will be coming out of you in seven months. <laughs> and that's all I need. Life is hard, here's how we try to get through it. Do you ever wonder how somebody could even like you? All the time, man, like every day. I wonder how you like me. And a lot of those movies are about that. Can you drop your baggage and just be present and be there for someone and be in love? Whatever you wanna do, I'm gonna do, you know? it's. I'm on board. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. I I'm Sydney. I called about the soup position. I'm so glad that they're making more of the bear, which is about a young man whose brother dies, and so he takes over the family business. I know who you are. Oh, yeah? I mean, you're the most excellent CDC at the most excellent restaurant in the entire United States of America. So, what are you doing here, I guess? I relate because my parents owned a restaurant and I loved washing dishes. It was a much simpler life back then. We're firing 76 beefs, 34 chickens, okay? 12 french fries, 12 mash, right now. Being a director is like being a chef because you feel stressed out. You're responsible, and quietly, everyone who works for you probably hates you a little bit. <laughs> One day down. I love Severance. It's so smart, and it's funny, and it's political. I give consent for my perceptual chronologies to be surgically split. There's a group of people, they work in an office, and they've had some procedure done which makes it so that when they go home, they don't remember anything that happened at work, and when they're at work, they don't know anything that happens when they're at home. So I'll never leave here. You'll leave at five. Would I do this? I mean, I, I couldn't do it because for me, everything overlaps. Remember, you're gonna be looking at this every day. Say gratitude. This is a picture of me and my mother. I'm seven years old. The Big Six started with the uh, Kamel Nanjiani coming in, and, and I think he pitched me three ideas, but one of them was the true story of his relationship with his wife, Emily. When did you get married? When did you get divorced? How tall is he? Did you love him? They dated, and then she had a health problem and wound up in a coma, and even though they didn't know each other that well, he had to be there and support her. And that led to many years of them writing the script and trying to figure out a way to make that a movie. And how do you make that fun to sit in a hospital waiting for someone to wake up from a coma? Apparently, there are good and bad comas. And the kind that they put her in are definitely like the good kind of coma. When I met Kamel, we talked a lot about the fact that he didn't feel represented in movies and on, on television. And I thought about myself and I thought, they were there for me, and that gave me the confidence to try to do a lot of things in life. I felt like I would be accepted. Oh my God, do you guys remember straight people? Yeah, they had a nice run. Billy Eichner and Nick Stoller said they wanted to do a gay rom-com, and I just thought that was a fantastic idea. It's something that we haven't seen enough of. We can be emotionally unavailable together. Maybe we can be emotionally unavailable together. Who's writing your texts, Maroon 5? I am so happy to be married and not having to go on a nap. I love not having to meet people because for me, it was always a disaster. This is Lena. She's a good friend of mine from work. We were in the neighborhood and she had to pick up her car and we're getting breakfast before we go in. So did you want to go? We're going to go eat. Let's go. Yeah, I can't. Punch Drunk Love is, I guess, a romantic comedy. I mean, it's Paul Thomas Anderson, so it's completely original. I'm going to go and eat tomorrow night. Do you want to go with me? Sure. Do you want to pick me up? Sure. The character that Adam Sandler plays, Barry, when he made it, he told me that in some of his acting choices, he was doing things that he observed me do. And I can see where he's doing it. There's a scene where he's trying to talk to his date, and he just starts bombing and getting nervous. 
I was listening to these morning DJs this morning, and they always have couples that call in and and talk about their problems. And he must have witnessed me do that with women a hundred times. But I feel such a kinship to the character and his struggles to express himself and get out of his own head that it just hits me very, very hard. There's an amazing scene where they'll reunite and it's just as great as you can do that moment. I'm a sucker for that kind of you know, thing in movies. You can put it right now on a TV. I'll cry in three seconds. Even though in every romantic comedy, we know they're gonna wind up together. At the end, it's, it's just fun to see the journey to people figuring each other out. Thanks for hanging out with me. See my watch list and more on Google TV.